I'm incapable of romance in this world. That's it. That's the tweet. Hello everybody, my name is Kayla and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I got bangs. I, I cut them like last Friday. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how books ruined my love life. Yes, you heard that right. I don't blame books and my love for reading for a lot of things. If anything, reading has saved my life, made my life so much better, yada, yada, yada. But the one thing it has impacted more than anything else is my unrealistic expectations for men. Listen, I wanna preface this by saying I'm a very dramatic person who also has social anxiety. So a lot of the reasons why I don't have a boyfriend or a stable romantic or pretty healthy romantic relationship with any partner is because of other things, not just reading. I will say that, although I do blame books for my unrealistic expectations. Um, I just wanted to make note of that. So there you go. So the first point I have is that books have altered my expectations for falling in love, right? Because in books we get this like grand, usually like either like a meet cute or like the world is ending or you know, like your enemies lovers and you're like, ah, oh, you're my rival, I hate you, but we gotta like work together. Like there's all these like extreme situations in which a lot of book couples, at least books that I tend to read, fall in love and get introduced. And so I feel like I look at the wrong places for love. Not that there's like a right place to look for love because relationships, partnerships, it's way more complicated than that. But I just feel like I'm waiting for something big to happen, whether it's an event, a personal struggle. It doesn't make sense. I feel like because I read, I'm waiting for like some big thing to happen or event and need to stumble into the person I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with. Um, even though I never leave my apartment besides to go to class and spend a lot of time online, you know? So like, again, not exactly promoting those things to happen, but in the first place, I feel like every single time I go out or I go on vacation, I'm like, oh my God, what if I have like a moment and then it just never happens. And I feel like that's like very much a me thing, but the source of it started with books, okay? It started with books and that is that. This is also probably just gonna turn out to be a video of me roasting myself. Um, you're welcome. The second unrealistic expectations for books is probably the feeling of love because I feel like love can be a lot of things. It's different for every person, but I have such a niche idea of what love is supposed to feel like that when I'm like getting to know someone or anything like that like I'm just like you're you're not a book character like you're not it's not the same as the butterflies I get when I read is that just me incapable of forming a connection with someone because of vulnerability and trauma well I was gonna say we'll never know but I'll probably know you know therapy um <laughs> I'm literally just roasting myself but I feel like Again, maybe it's like the big moments, the high stress that promotes love in books that I feel like I don't have in my life. So I'm just like, I mean, yeah, you're cool, but like, I'm not like, oh my God, you know? And maybe I just haven't met the right person yet. And the entire origin for all of this actually isn't from books, but for the sake of this video and the fact that I'm already filming it, we're gonna say it's from books. The third reason why reading has ruined my love life is it's given me such a niche type of preferred partner. Now there's nothing wrong with being picky. You know, that's the beauty of love, relationship, whatever you wanna do with your body and someone else, you know, like it's all your preference, what you want. But I feel like I am attracted to such a niche, like personality, physical descriptions that I'm like, holy crap, I am judgy. Like I have very specific, words are hard. I have very specific criteria for men for romantic partners because like books like you know like and I find myself comparing them to fictional men like I'm like are you a hot high fey lord are you a king a fallen angel um please don't tell me you're a vampire like I'm just like waiting for the other shoe to drop and I'm never gonna be in love with a high fey lord and get to rule a kingdom at least I think Please tell me I'm not the only one that has a very niche idea of what they want their partner to be like and they hope uh, to find somebody like that's based off of books because 
book boyfriends over here be making me have literally the highest expectations. That's like number, what are we, three, four? I don't remember. I lost count. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my energy right now. Just, I hope this is entertaining. You know, if you haven't grabbed a snack yet, go do that. Drink some water, grab some tea. I don't know, and just listen to me rant about books, I guess. But the next point I'm trying to make is that I have such high expectation for men because I have read so many men that are words are hard that are written by women, right? There's like this whole like study, I don't know if you're on book talk or whatever, like this whole like, you know, men written by women just hit differently and we fall in love with a lot of these fictional men in this phenomenon because they are written by a woman, by somebody who knows what it's like to have those expectations to you know, like, it's, it also has to do with, like, the female gaze or whatever gaze you identify with or prefer of that disconnect between reality and the content we consume. I just, it hurts. It hurts because I read all of these amazing books and they have literally a guy in it, like, um, the Spanish love deception, um, Aaron Blackford. Is that his last name? I don't remember. But, um, I recently read that and I just won an Aaron. I want that character in my life and I want him to be my boyfriend, but I don't know if he actually exists because his personality is crafted so carefully by a writer who knows what they're doing. Thus, it's an endless cycle of just high expectations, which I keep coming back to and, you know, like, just, I mean, a lot of characters are flawed, but like, it's just... Cause it's not fair to hold people to fictional standards. I know that, but I do it. I'm just rambling at this point. And lastly, I just have the feeling that something's always coming and maybe that's like a trauma thing of like waiting for the other shoe to drop, but I'm always worried that I'm going to make the wrong decision because I feel like in books, it's, it's laid out, it's obvious. There's a plot, you know, like, I mean, plot twists do exist, obviously. But for a lot of my favorite books, I'm like, oh yeah, they're meant to be together. They're going to be together. But then in real life, you don't always have that or it hits different when you're reading it in those uncertainties versus like feeling it in, in the real world. Um, because relationships are scary and I feel like in books, I feel like they're a lot safer than in reality. So when I am like, oh, I kind of like this person. Should I? Oh, that's uh, like, you know, it's just like books I can handle, books I'm good at. But navigating that in the real world, that's hard shit. That is hard. And I just, I, tell me I'm not the only one who has these expectations, but also, hello birds. Why is there an entire flock of birds just? Okay, the birds stopped. Um, what was I saying? I just feel like between, you know, my personal issues and unrealistic expectations from books. Reading for my ideal partner through my female bias gaze, I have just crafted an unrealistic, like, entire expectation for how I think I'm going to fall in love, and I struggle with the reality of it and how emotions, you know, work when it's not in, like, a 300-page novel. Like, emotions are hard regardless, especially for me. But it's just, there's so many complexities to relationships that I feel like are tied up or written well in books and you get like closure, you, you can see a direction. Whereas there's an uncertainty, obviously, in this real world. And ultimately, I feel like that is another really, really big factor. That's like kind of like the thought I want to close on in this little, little video. Um, but yeah, comment down below your book partners, not necessarily book boyfriends. I say book boyfriends a lot, but... Who are your book partners? Like, who do you prefer? Your book crushes? Like, and how has that affected or not affected your everyday life? Um, whether you're a reader, a DD and d player, like, whatever. Like, how has, not necessarily, like, falling, but, like, being like, oh, I like this type of personality, characteristics. How has that affected your everyday relationships if you drew those or got those conclusions from different forms of media? Wow. Why did that sound way smarter than I actually am? Anyways, thanks for listening to me rant about books. Let me know if you want more just like relaxed rant videos like this because they're really, really easy and zero stress for me to film. So if you guys like seeing these uh, in just like chill videos, 
just give me bookish topics to rant about and I'll talk about them for a couple minutes. Um, I hope you have a great day. Um, live your best life and be amazing people, I guess. Bye!